You know what nobody has asked for, but we've all really needed? Pro-hormones, SARMs, peptides on a map from a muscle building perspective, all compared against one another. We'll call it the seroto pro-hormone map, even though SARMs and peptides are not technically pro-hormones. Well, they're not pro-hormones at all. We're inclusive around here, though. We're comprehensive. We're going to cover it all. The science and some of this stuff does not always translate to reality, which is why, combined with the fact that some of these compounds are crazy names, the, the products themselves are sometimes steroid names because the company who sells them purchased the trademark names, it's all really, really confusing. My name is Travis Dillard, and I've been at this Look Better Naked journey for about 20 years myself. I'm on TRT and have been since I was 26 years old. I had a head injury playing flag football. I had uh, testosterone, total testosterone was 23 nanograms per deciliter for about two years. And if anybody's been through that, you know depression is very real, and that is chemical depression. So if anybody's got a problem with the fact that I'm on TRT, I mean, I get why. Control for variables, it's another variable. If you're not on TRT, I get it. But at the same time, this is the knowledge I gained because I had to go through that. Maybe you didn't, but if you're here to learn, that's what we're going to do. Which is why today, man, I tell you what, if I had this map back in the day, I would have been seriously dangerous. All the supplements stacked against one another. Compared from a muscle building perspective, visually anchored so that you will never forget it. My brothers, this is the steroidal promo map. We're getting out of our seats today, so you know it's going to be a good one. Let's get it. You are now in the presence of a... My brothers, welcome to the Prohomo Soroto map. It's a triangle. And yes, I am sweating profusely. It is hot as heck in Houston, and this room is like 200 degrees, but we gotta get going. Testosterone is gonna be at the top. That represents exogenous testosterone as the vial or TRT. And you see each of these pins gonna represent a compound. If you can see them, got my fingernails along, they grow very quickly. <laughs> so when we place said compound, whatever it may be, it can be raw DHEA, it can be for andro. It's going to represent the distance between testosterone, that's exogenous testosterone or TRT, and said compound in terms of muscle building effects. So the lower we go or the further it gets from testosterone, the weaker it is from a muscle building perspective. Now when we look at the different colors, let's get into it. This blue right here, well scientifically speaking, it's going to represent delta 4. Delta to denote its structure for the exponent to indicate what carbon position that the double bond of this specific compound sits on. Which frankly is gonna help us to differentiate the understanding of said compounds because the names are so weird and closely similar. First one's gonna be for andro, which you'll notice is right below exogenous testosterone. Muscle building wise compared to testosterone, on paper, it's a two-step precursor that converts directly into testosterone, which is why it goes below that. However, don't expect testosterone or exogenous testosterone type gains. Those of you who have taken it, the real stuff, know that it's not comparable. However, 30%, I would guess. So that's to put in a relation here. Now, guys, this actually, just forewarning, it's not actually the closest thing. We're all gonna include some other compounds in here that are gonna be closer, but we're gonna keep going. I bet you didn't know that 19 nor was part of the same family. And I bet you also didn't know that at the end of 19-NOR is actually 19-NOR delta-4, which is why it actually belongs in this lane right under 4-andro, which you might be thinking, well, it doesn't convert into testosterone. Why would that even be there? You're right, it doesn't. It converts to andro though. But it's not supposed to convert to testosterone because it's supposed to do something mechanistically different. Rather than the muscle gain, it's more about collagen production and protecting the tissue. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit it. You'll thank yourself later. So 19 nor delta four, you got it. To wrap up the delta fours, it's the last one. We've got one four andro. Now you'll notice we're now approaching further and further away from testosterone. Again, four andro, 19 nor delta four, this leads to collagen increase. This increases water retention, also converts into testosterone after two steps. And 1,4-andro looks very similar to 4-andro, has the name in it. 
except for it's a little drier because of this one right here. It's also a two-step precursor. And speaking of Delta One, let's move over to the Delta Ones. Yellow denoted by a different color than blue because of a different mechanism, which means it's going to be a different outcome. In this case, it's going to be one andro. There's only one of these Delta Ones. That goes right here. Notice how far it is away from one four andro, one andro. Yes, it is weaker in terms of muscle building when compared, to obviously, testosterone, but these guys here. But it's not actually designed to be testosterone, so it's actually supposed to be weaker from that perspective. One testosterone what this converts into, which is a drier form of testosterone, therefore leaner, not as much muscle, which will be drier. There's a place for it. In clomiphene, SARMs, peptides, we're gonna cover those. But first, let's talk about this orange line right here, or delta fives, five compounds here specifically. The last one of which, controversial. So first up, we've got the classic over-the-counter, you can buy at any drug shop, DHEA. Now notice how far it is away it's lower than one andro, it's lower than these, it's further than testosterone than anything we've covered so far, so it is in fact the weakest, even though it's considered the father of hormones. It's mild in terms of muscle building effects. Then we've got one that you probably haven't heard before. And if you have, you may be more of an expert than me. Five andro stendiol, which sounds fancy, it ain't. You won't see this in any products. None. I've never seen one because it's basically useless. It doesn't do anything, muscle building wise. This is the one that's going to surprise you. This is the next one I'm about to bring up because the paper is doing something different than reality. I'm actually doing an entire video on this. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that the lab testing is going through right now. Not cheap, guys, by the way. Once I get those results, I will post that video. I also ran it. it is a good one. We're going to cover the owner, too. It's all about trust, especially in this game. Anyway, I digress. 3AD. That is what this is, which is also known as dehydroepiandrosterone, or 3AD. And that goes right here. Again, the weakest that we've covered so far. My <laughs> testosterone went up 400 nanograms per deciliter on the weakest one. I'm gonna be doing a video on this, but right now we're waiting for a lab test. Oh, and one thing about 3AD. The reason it is down here, when compared to something like a DHEA, this is what's known as a three alpha epimer. Alpha just means that the compound itself is not positioned yet in the correct place to it can actually go to work. Versus DHEA, is a three beta, beta being in that position, which is why it is in fact higher. And I am gonna include one that is not actually a delta five, but it's good in terms of comparison. We've got androsterone, which actually is known as in the pro-hormone world, the most mild pro-hormone there is, which is, I often see it as kind of a filler in a pro-hormone product like Dianabol or Halodrol. We're gonna keep moving. Epiandro is next, and this also is not a Delta Five, but it is the strongest. And just be frank, I didn't even know where to put it. Put it right here, because it's still, still in the triangle, because there's conversions. However, maybe it doesn't even belong in the triangle, because technically speaking, actually this goes up here. Sorry about this, guys. So you can see it's closer to testosterone than these guys right here, but that's only because this converts to DHT and testosterone also downstream testosterone downstream to estrogen and then potentially to DHT as metabolites. Therefore, it is going to be closer. But Epiandro is really more about weight loss and muscle preservation. All right. And clomiphene and SARMs. Just a heads up. The audio went out for the next 30 seconds or so. Hence why you get the raw audio here. I try to clean it up, but it'll return back here shortly. Now, because SARMs interact directly with receptor they're actually not going to be involved inside of the triangle they're going to be directly outside and today we're going to cover two of them there are quite a few of them the top dog being the top dog on the map l g d closest thing to testosterone in terms of muscle building effects above four andro again it's a sarm keep in mind there is no line connecting lgd to testosterone not the same vein 
And we got the first of all SARMs ever created, Austrian, which again, is still above four Android. It's gonna be a drier version. These guys right here are gonna shut you down though. As for peptides, which are also not part of the triangle. Way over there, actually. Does it improve muscle? Well, what we're talking about today, peptides, not the collagen increasing, not the increase in horniness or tan, melatonin too. This is about IGF-1 growth hormone. We're talking about that pathway or hyperplasia, the increase in the number of muscle cells. In here, hypertrophy, this is the increase in the size of the muscle cells. And you can start to see how they can support one another. Way over here though, and there's four little sections we're gonna be talking about today. First, one that you've definitely heard before, and if you haven't, welcome to the king of all kings in terms of muscle builders and hyperplasia for peptides. This is IGF-1, LR3, and IGF-1 DES. Next coming up, we've got CJC1295 and hypermorlin, which are essentially the same thing, just a little weaker. Next, this one's an interesting one, guys. We've got GHRP2 and GHRP6, which if you know about MK677, a growth hormone secretagogue, this is the old school original. I didn't take this one. For those of you who have, let us know how it went because I know people are out there taking it today and I'd be curious to know your thoughts. That's number three. And the last one is actually my favorite peptide, but it's last because it's not focused on muscle building. It's more about anti-inflammation and recovery. And there is nothing better if you have like a rotator cuff tear or the doctor tells you you need surgery and, uh, well, you get an opportunity to surprise him. PPC 157, TB500. Those are the four we're covering today. There are others and we will cover the others just in individual breakdown videos. We did not talk about a clomiphene though. So guys, if you had to guess, where the heck is it? No, there it is. If you had to guess, look at it right now while I'm down here, where? in this triangle or outside of the triangle would this go? Remember, think about what pathway the triangle is in. Now, again, I know that some of these don't necessarily fit that pathway down here, but all of these guys do with it. Well, enclomiphene increases LH or luteinizing hormone, which increases testosterone naturally. FSH as well, which is sperm production also increases that, but it's not necessarily focused on muscle building. Yes, you can get an increase in testosterone, but uh, it's not going to be as much as these guys right here, 4-andro, 19-nor, and 1-4-andro. But it is going to be more than epi-andro. So this is where it's going to land right here. It's more on the natural side, guys. These are not natural. Now, typically, we do individual product breakdowns on this channel. And it is called Pro Hormone Pro, but we cover any supplement. That goes with the anabolic map, which we will continue to add on to, as well as the Pro Hormone Encyclopedia, which is not just pro hormones, it's SARMs, peptides. And we're gonna do every single ancillary, every single supplement ever. It's going to be the biggest, baddest supplement encyclopedia anyone's ever seen. It already is working its way there. It's completely free, get that below. 10% off Total Nutrition Houston if you wanna support the channel. Some of that money is gonna be going towards future testing of said products. 380 was $700. Your help means the world to me, but also just know I'm not making much money doing this. In fact, I'm not making any money. It's completely in the red. <laughs> it's like, Paying $1,300 a month or $1,200 a month for these videos for editing, and then I'm bringing home like $3,000. So I'm making 13 or 14% sales. So if you think I'm in it for high tech or these products, that is wrong. Just be ready when the forum drops. That's all I ask. My brothers, until next week, stay safe. Oh, by the way, here's Andreal, two step converter, closest thing to testosterone. I had a weird experience with it. Check it out. Until then, stay safe and stay. If I haven't mentioned it, I love you. Swole, my brothers.